I have spent the past several years traveling across Pakistan. Violence and terrorism are frequently associated with Pakistan and, according to the media at least, the country is in a chronic state of conflict. And while I was in the region, a deadly clash did in fact occur in Kashmir. So when I heard that NACDA, a national authority established to counter extremism and terrorism, is holding a conference, to attend and learn more about what this organization and what Pakistan is doing to combat extremism. The forum was a three-day event attended by researchers and scholars from all over the world. Many learned for the first time Pakistan's endeavors in fighting terrorism its emerging challenges, and the important roles media, women, and youth play. I was very happy, frankly, to see youth taking part in this event, since young people are particularly vulnerable to negative influences. Active duty military personnel, civilians, and representatives from Pakistan's various political parties came together, showing solidarity for this cause. We cannot defeat terrorism by blame games, by pointing fingers. We have to find platforms for collaboration so that we all can work together to defeat terrorism. Extremism certainly imperils stability, productivity, fundamental rights and liberty in what we know as South Asia and at least the rest of the world. I felt that this was a unique opportunity NACTA provided to foreigners to begin to we see firsthand some of the ground realities and develop terrorism. their personal Instead perspectives regarding Pakistan. So before coming here, I, I, I really had the impression that Pakistan was a sanctuary for terrorists. Uh, and the reason for that was that uh, there is a one-sided coverage uh, of, a, of this conflict in the Western press. So after coming here, I heard all the different versions uh, and I heard all, uh, all the efforts Pakistan are doing in the field of countering terrorism. And I also realized that Pakistan, uh, almost every Pakistani has been affected by terrorism and they're actually victims of terrorism. Uh, they're not sponsors of terrorism. Uh, so that's a very different picture than what I had from before. That was very good, very, very good experience to know the very multi-dimension of Pakistan, to know the real life of Pakistan people. What I learned from NACTA, from this counterterrorism forum, is that uh, I really felt the strong commitment and also the long-lasting efforts by the Pakistan Authority for the counterterrorism. As well as we can to use uh, experience of Pakistan in uh, counter-terrorism activity. Uh, so I can think it will be very useful for bo both countries, Russia and Pakistan. Over the past several years, I've witnessed many of Pakistan's struggles, causing it, in a way, to withdraw from the international community, cutting off connectivity and even communications. And while I know there is a great deal more work that needs to be done, I believe that this is an effective effort for Pakistan to begin to open its doors to internationals, to learn from them, and at the same time educate other nations as to the diverse landscape of this dynamic nation.